Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure and access VPN server in Windows 10. This process is divided in three sections. One, configure the server, in this case Windows 10. Two, configure the router firewall or port forwarding to allow us to connect to the server via VPN. And three, configure the client. So let's start with the first. Go to Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center. Here, click on Change Adapter Settings on the left. Now, on your keyboard, press the Alt key to bring up some additional menu. Here, go to File, New Incoming Connection. Here, select the user you would like to use to connect via VPN. Make sure that the user has a password. Also, you can create one by clicking on Add Someone. In this case, I'm using Mike as my VPN user. Click Next. How will people connect throughout the internet? Make sure that is checked. Here, I'll leave everything default for now and click on Allow Access. Now the incoming connection has been created write down the computer name you might need this in the future and close perfect now here's our newly created uh, VPN incoming connection we're done with part one let's continue with part two which is configure the router now on your keyboard press the Windows key plus R to open the run window and here type CMD just like you see it here and click OK or press enter to open the command prompt. Now type ipconfig and press enter. This will give you the IP address of that uh, Windows 10 where we are hosting the VPN incoming connection and the default gateway. We need the default gateway to access the router. Managing and accessing the router depends on the type router you're using, but the process of enabling or port forwarding is generally the same. In my case, I am not using a router. I am using the ISP modem. Open Microsoft Edge and enter http colon forward slash forward slash and the default gateway IP address, as you can see. I'm not using any routers but my modem require a username and password. Usually the username and password in your case might be on the manual. Now here, locate port forwarding. In my case it's under advanced and enable port forwarding. Now on the bottom, add service. And here, uh, enter the name PPTP, point to point tunneling protocol, service type TCP and UDP, server IP address. This is the Windows 10 where you're hosting the VPN uh, incoming connection. And then starting port 1723, and the same with ending port. Once you're done, click on add. Close here. Now you can review your port forwarding as if everything is well, you can log out or edit in case you need to. To configure the client, we will need the WAN IP address. You can get it from the router here, or a very easy way is to open up Edge and type what is my IP, and it'll prompt you with your IP address without accessing a website. Here it is. Now, write this down because we're going to need it to configure the client. Okay, so we're done with step two. Let's continue with step three, which is configure the client. But first, I'm going to configure a client from the LAN and make sure that everything works before I do a WAN client. That way, I can isolate the problem to the router in case I get any errors. My client is another Windows 10. From the desktop, right-click Network and select 
properties from the drop down. Here select set up a new connection or network and choose connect to a workplace. Set up a dial up or VPN next. Here click on use my internet connection VPN. Now enter the local IP address from step two when we did the IP config remember and leave everything default and click on create. Now on previous operating system it would automatically connect but on this one it's ju it just created. Now to connect to that uh, VPN server go to change adapter settings on the left and double click VPN connections. Now make sure on the left VPN is selected and select VPN connection on the right connect. Enter the username and password you selected from step one. In this case is Mike and click on OK. Everything should work well. Now it gave me this uh, error message. I'm not surprised, but Windows 10 is not giving error codes. So by experience, I know that this is a 720 code. This means I need to set up the VPN server to assign IP addresses to VPN connections instead of automatically. Since Windows 10 doesn't provide any error codes, you can copy the red warning on Google for more information. Now on the server, right click network properties and here again change adapter settings and right click the incoming connection you created on the server properties select the networking tab make sure internet protocol version is selected and click properties now here instead of assign IP addresses automatically select specify IP addresses and then use an IP range. Make sure that you don't select an IP range already being used in your network. In this case I have 20 IP addresses which is which is not being used in my network. Click OK. OK here. Done. Now let me go back to the client PC on the LAN and then reconnect. Perfect. It connected perfectly. Now if I try to connect via WAN, if any error comes up, we can isolate the problem to the router or firewall. If you notice here, I am connected and Mike is currently connected to this VPN. Okay, now let's try this via WAN. For the WAN we would need the WAN IP address. Now from the client again, from the WAN client in this case, right click network properties. This is the same process, the only thing that changes is the IP address on the VPN. Set up a new connection or network connect to a workplace next use my internet connection VPN and here enter the WAN IP address the one we got from Google or Bing create again change the adapter settings Double click VPN connection. Select VPN connection. Connect. Enter the username and password. Mike from step one. Done. You have successfully created a VPN connection via WAN 
and LAN. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. As you can see, in my server it shows who's connected.